Question 7 gives us an extract from an article. It says that a telescope in Arizona has taken the clearest pictures ever taken from an Earth-based telescope. Images are three times sharper than those from the Hubble Space Telescope. The telescope uses adaptive optics. Adaptive optics compensate for some of the effects of the atmosphere by gently bending an ultra-thin secondary mirror to correct the incoming light. The mirror is so thin that it can be bent into different shapes as controlled by sensors that detect atmospheric distortions. Now for the question, suggest how few adaptive optics affect the balance of advantages and disadvantages for ground-based and space-based telescopes. In some ways, this paragraph here is a bit of a distraction from the main bulk of the question. Remember, the question is, suggest how the new adaptive optics affect the balance of advantages and disadvantages. You absolutely need to be describing the advantages and disadvantages of ground-based and space-based telescopes. And then towards the end of your answer, you can then take the opportunity to suggest how the adaptive optics might affect this balance of advantages and disadvantages. So let's begin by looking at some of these advantages and disadvantages. So this is from the Mark scheme. Space-based telescopes have clearer images. They avoid the absorption and refraction effects of the atmosphere. There are no, no clouds in the sky, no light pollution. And they can look at parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, such as ultraviolet, that is absorbed by our atmosphere. Also, it allows us to see the holes for the celestial sphere. In other words, it's not limited to a certain point on the Earth and what stars you can see from that point. You can see all around the Earth. The disadvantages of the space-based telescopes, cost, it's difficult to maintain and repair, environmentally dodgy, and there are uncertainties in any space program. So to answer your question here, you would need to list a couple of advantages and disadvantages. And only once you've done that can you start talking about the, how the adaptive optics will affect it. And the conclusion you should be given here is that ground-based telescopes become slightly better because the adaptive optics overcome some of these points. Specifically, you no longer get the refraction effects of the atmosphere. However, there are still some advantages to the space-based telescopes, the light pollution, the use of the EM. The ability to see the whole celestial sphere, as well as the ability to use parts of the electromagnetic spectrum that will be absorbed by the atmosphere. So the adaptive optics improve ground-based telescopes a little, but they're not perfect.